One common happiness challenge these days is feeling drained and overwhelmed by email, the internet, social media, all that. Um, and it's very true that throughout history, people have been very suspicious of new technologies and worried about how they might affect the brain. So people worried that um, novels would confuse our minds, speeding trains would hurt our brains, electric lights could damage our eyes. Um, and it's true that when I think back on my own life, I think, yeah, wow, in college, I would read something like Henry James's Portrait of a Lady for hours. And I rarely do that kind of reading anymore. And it's easy to think it's because of social media and the internet and all that. But is that all that's changed? I mean, the world has changed, but I have also changed. Think about this passage. Look back in your memory and see how large a part has been taken up by useless grief, foolish gladness, greedy desire, or polite conversation. How little of yourself is left to you. I mean, that sounds very familiar to anybody who's complained about social media, but it was written by Seneca almost 2,000 years ago. Whenever I feel distracted and overwhelmed, I remind myself, I can't blame the internet. If I want time for reflection or study, I need to make that time for myself.